Next, let's look at another vulnerability called cross-site scripting. Uh, so, using the same example, if you notice, uh, whatever we enter in this particular field, two, comes back in the response right here. So, if I use a piece of JavaScript that says, ask the browser to uh, render value one on the screen, once I hit transfer, I see that one comes back on the screen. So uh, I can use, uh, instead of alert one, I can ask the browser to throw me the value of the session cookie. So using this attack vector, uh, I can get the value of the session cookie, right, like that. So uh, an attacker can use a different attack vector which actually asks the browser to send the cookie to his own IP uh, by using a phishing method where he can fish a user to click into that link. Uh, so effectively he would have the value of the IP, so uh, of the cookie. So by using the cookie value, he can get into the user session, uh, which is the only piece of value that he needs to log in 